Hello, I'm Pat Salerno. Hello, I'm Terry Williams. We're mortgage planners with Dunny Mortgage, and this is the first edition of the Mortgage Moment. Pat, why don't you give us a little insight, your wisdom into the state of the mortgage industry, where it's been, and where it's going as far as how we see the industry changing. I tell you, Terry, we've never seen anything this drastic in my 15 years in the business. Uh, the, the the way things are underwritten and originated now is fundamentally different than it was just two years ago. With the trouble that Fannie, uh, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac had and the rise of FHA lending, uh, it's never been more important to, to deal with a mortgage company that knows exactly what they're doing. What we're seeing right now in the market is consumers that have a stable job, stable income, those two factors alone do not guarantee you a mortgage. What's important now is credit scores, income, and assets, and you have to have a strong, well-qualified borrower to qualify. Those are some critical things that three years ago were not necessary. Today, uh, those are prerequisites before you even submit the package to the lender. You know, the other thing, Terry, is that uh, a lot of this has to do with the way your mortgage company can structure these loans. It, it, used, to, uh, it used to come out of boxes and be done by automated systems, and, and the thinking was done basically by computers, by big lenders. And uh, the entire industry has gone back to a manual underwriting process that was in place for probably 30 years in this country. And, and, and now more so than ever, you've got to be able to deal with mortgage planners and originators that understand this. Because you only get one shot with the lender to show a package that can be qualified, underwritten, and closed. Uh, there's a lot of loan denials out there now. I read somewhere where I think it was 8 out of 10 borrowers either have their loan denied or changed drastically because of the risk that's found inside of it. And it's awfully important to be dealing with a company that understands these things. What uh, is termed in the market automated underwriting is really just a starting point. That used to be a guarantee that you could get a loan with a lender. Today, automated underwriting just is a starting point. Uh, we still have to put together a complete package, income assets, uh, and credit, submit that package to the lender with automated underwriting. The underwriter, the lender, the underwriter are going to review that package, tear it apart top to bottom, and they're going to request things from the client, from the mortgage broker ourselves, that are unprecedented and in the past have not been requested, that's frustrating for the client, that's frustrating for us, but that's the nature of the business and that's what lenders are requiring and that's what we're forced to deal with. You know, the other uh, piece of the puzzle that's changed is, is the valuation of the property and how appraisals are done these days. You know, that used to be almost a, an inconsequential afterthought as far as what the appraiser and the underwriter would determine that the value of the property was. Uh, in the refinance market today, especially with historically low interest rates, it's never been more difficult to help a borrower judge what their property is worth and, and, and have a loan structured as such so that you, you, you have a reasonable chance of making sure that what you show the borrower is something that can be closed on given the somewhat of a rollback in, in property values. Uh, I, I don't think anybody paid any attention to that for the last 10 years and we see more loans have trouble in underwriting when the, when the estimate of value that was put together by the borrower and the loan officer is way off base. And that can get a loan denied right out of the chute that should otherwise be able to get done. Absolutely. Well, in summary, uh, we want to just enlighten consumers, our clients, uh, people we work with, that mortgage lending is tougher than ever before. It's actually went back to traditional underwriting practices implemented uh, way back in the depression, uh, those policies uh, went away for years, they're back. Both mortgage brokers, ourselves, and our clients need to understand that. You need to work with qualified mortgage brokers that understand the process and work with lenders that understand the process. Thank you, Terry Williams. Pat Salerno, we'll be back again in a week or two with, uh, with a little more detail about how we do things. Thank you.